Hello and welcome to an e-demo on the new Incident Management feature of Victor 4.7. Incident Management allows the collation of information that relates to an incident that has occurred on your site from across your Victor Unified system. This information can then be exported into a single package and we can also produce a report from that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at an incident that occurred on this site today and that was when a wallet was removed without permission from a co-worker's desk. The first thing I'm going to do is create the incident itself and I'm going to do that by selecting the Home tab, Incident Management and New Incident. I give my incident a name, then I need to specify where we're going to save that and I'm just going to choose the incident list and then I'm going to choose Save. OK, so now we have an incident created we can begin to populate it. I know that there was a camera that covered the area where the incident took place so I'm just going to do a quick search and retrieve and see if I can find any footage of it. So if I open up the search and retrieve wizard from the home tab, just drag and drop the camera in that covers the area. I'm going to go ahead and specify a time range, which is round about the time when the incident occurred. I'm just going to choose next and then finish to run the search. You can see I have got a result here and indeed we have some footage of the incident occurring. So what I'm going to do then is save that clip to our incident. I can just select the checkbox that relates to the clip down in the results pane at the bottom here. Just select the usual export clip dialog box and you'll see we have a new button there which is called save the incident. If I choose that button we're going to get a list of incidents that exist in our system. I'm going to choose to save to the wallet theft incident and I've also given my clip a name there and there we have confirmation then that that's been saved to the incident. Now unfortunately the camera angle didn't quite capture the perpetrator's face but I know I have another camera that's mounted in another location that possibly will have captured that so I'm going to pull up some footage from it. I'm just going to go to a live view of it by double clicking it in the device list. And I'm going to use the calendar controls then to navigate to the time that I now know that the incident took place at. And let's see if we can get a better angle on the face then. Here's the incident occurring and indeed we have a good angle on the face there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the still image capture tool and capture this image and I'm going to save that to my incident as well. So use still image capture, draw the box around the person and then I can choose save to incident and select my incident from the list there and I can also give my image a name. Okay, so with all that done I just want to add a map of the area to the incident and then we can go ahead and look at the export functionality. So I'm just going to navigate to my map, open it up and you'll see a new button on the toolbar called Save the Incident. I'm going to save that to my incident like so. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and export the incident. So first of all I'm going to choose the incident management button again from the home tab and then I'm going to choose incident list to see our list. And if I right click on the incident you'll see I have an option there for exporting it. Okay so now we've got a dialog box that allows us to configure some options there. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose a location where we're going to put the export. I'm just going to choose my desktop. Then I need to select a template for the report. I'm going to choose a be on the lookout for template. You can define your own custom templates in Microsoft Word for use here. And then what I can do is specify the order in which the things we have added to our incident appear in the report. I can just use these arrow buttons to move things up and down. And if I wanted to, I could also exclude specific items by moving them out of that list using the left and right arrows. 
Okay, so with all that configured, I'm going to go ahead and export the package by choosing export. And with that done, we're going to open up our desktop and take a look at what we have. You can see we have a folder. Within that folder, we have several files. I have all of the image data, and they've been saved as images. And we also have our clip here, which has been exported with Victor Player. We double click it. There we have the video footage of our incident. And we can also take a look at our report here, which if we open up, has all of the images that we have specified added to it. And it also has several links in there to open up the content itself.